Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to be giving sort of a review on my domestic sewing machine. This has been my partner in crime. We've gone good and bad times together and we've had we've had that relationship for about a year and eight months. I got this machine on Amazon and it was for the price I paid for it, it has really served me well. So one question I've been getting from my friends that want to, you know, try out DIY and try making out their own clothes is what sort of machine should they get? So this is a good like starting machine, especially as a beginner, because everything is quite basic, like the threading, um, how it works and it comes with a manual. So it's easy to understand. So if you want to learn more about my sewing machine, keep watching. If you haven't subscribed already, what you waiting for? What you waiting for? Please subscribe down below and you'll get notified every week whenever I have new videos up. So let's jump straight into this review, shall we? done um, a bunch of research and I'm going to add that on top of my own experience with this machine so the machine costs 70 pounds on Amazon right now and there are other versions that of it that are a bit more expensive and a bit more cheap but this is like the cost of this machine is called the brother LS 14 chassis sewing machine i would leave a link down below so you can check it out as well it's a domestic machine it does the domestic stuff nothing really intense so i normally would use it to sew my garments to do like little like mending here and there nothing heavy duty a lot of people say i well, because when i read the reviews some people said oh and yeah, they've been able to sew thick fabric with it but not in my case whenever the fabric is too thick the machine doesn't sew really well so i try to just avoid working with very thick fabrics because the machine doesn't really stitch thick fabrics properly. It would stitch it, but the stitch would jump, so it doesn't really look really nice, and I don't like that. So it's a domestic machine, and it's something that it's good to start out if you are a beginner. It has a total of 14 stitches, from the simple straight stitch, to the zigzag stitch, to the buttonhole stitch, to um, one that sort of looks like a heartbeat. I've never used that one, but it looks really cool. And what I quite like about it is it's easy to move from one stitch to the other and you can also vary how wide you want the stitch length to go so you can have the, the stitches really short that would be the shorter stitch length or you could go really wide and that would be the wider stitch length it comes to just a single needle it's not like the double needle uh, machine that would be used for denim this is just a single needle threaded machine and I have to say the threading is quite simple and very straightforward I think it's one of the easiest threading I have ever seen on a sewing machine and it and even on the body of the machine it has like little illustrations showing you where the thread should go next and there are not even a lot of channels through which your thread has to pass through in comparison to the one I use at work this machine is actually quite simple and easy to use so it's also it's an electrical machine meaning it's once you just connect it to a power source it's good to go and it lights up with an led daytime light which means it's the colors of the fabric viewed under that light would not be distorted it would be um as they're supposed to be so i quite like that about the machine because especially when i sew at night i know once i turn on the light i can see what i'm doing and that's like a great pro that this sewing machine has so i also have to say it's really lightweight it's i actually would take it like in a in a like an ikea bag if i have to go fix it or do something and i would just get on the bus and just move around the machine in comparison to a typical the typical weight of a sewing machine this machine is quite lightweight and you can you can lift it you can basically lift it with one hand and it has a handle at the back which makes it easy to lift the machine so this is what it looks like so compact she comes with a bunch of things when you receive it it comes with a zipper foot which is sort of like a plastic foot that only has one protrusion in comparison to the normal foot which has two and then it goes in the middle so the great thing about zipper foots is it makes it so much easier to sew zips because you know once you just put it on the right side you can sew that the the right side of the tape where you need to attach the zip to the fabric without having to maneuver or struggle a lot so it also comes with an oppression manual which is 
God sent because if you really don't know how machines work, that manual would save your life. It also comes with a buttonhole foot. So if you want to fix the buttonhole, you just have to attach the foot of for the buttonhole and attach and place your fabric and put the button and just adjust it to the stitch for buttonholes. I haven't used that personally, but it's there. It's chilling. When I have the need for it, I'll try it out. This machine only uses plastic bobbins, which is like the transparent ones, and it sits vertically into the machine, which is great because typical sewing machines usually have their bobbins underneath and it sits horizontally. I don't know if I get that right. <laughs> and it sits like this, so this one is actually quite easy to um, take in bobbin and take out bobbins and you kind of see what goes on underneath if there is some kind of weird thing going on when you're stitching you see it straight away because the bobbin case is it's a clear transparent layer so that's really that actually looks really cool when you're stitching and you can see how like the thread is spinning around but the last thing i have to like sort of say about the machine is it has a detachable um flat bed and why I quite like that is when I have to sew like around sleeves that is like a circle I know I just fix it into um, I fix it through the side I'll take out the flatbed put the sleeve in through the side I know I can just sew along that curve without having to like fiddle and struggle around with that secular seam that I'm trying to achieve but all in all i quite like this sewing machine it does what it's supposed to do and it's reliable it's lightweight it's functional it's affordable it's a very good starting machine as a beginner if you even experience if you're an experienced sewing person you would also enjoy it as well you might just struggle in terms of sewing thick fabrics or if you want to do embroidery or if you want to do something a bit more complicated that the machine cannot do so I would highly recommend this sewing machine if you're looking to get something, you know, just to have around the house to do mending or if you're looking for something to start out as someone who makes dresses and you're working with a budget, this is a definite good find. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I'd like to know your thoughts down below. Do any of you actually use this machine? I would love to know what you think about it because when I read the reviews on Amazon, everyone seemed to like it or a few negatives here and there, but generally it was a lot of positive feedback. So let me know your comments down below if you have any questions or suggestions. I am open to all of them. And until my next video, have a good morning, afternoon, and evening wherever you are. Bye.